Today, we will talk about how to add nitrogen to compost, let's have a look at the details. Compost is high in organic material, and can help keep your lawn and plants healthy. Amazingly, you can create compost with things that you would usually just throw away like table scraps, lawn clippings, and dead leaves. Sometimes, however, compost can become nitrogen deficient and will stop breaking down. If you notice that your compost is not decomposing over several months, it means that you need to add more nitrogen to it. Luckily, there are a wide variety of ways you can increase the nitrogen levels in your compost by adding commonly found ingredients. The first method is adding gardening materials to compost. Add fresh grass clippings to the compost. Collect the grass clippings left after you mow your lawn. Add the clippings in thin layers to the compost so that it doesn't clump up into big chunks. Add leafy plant clippings to the compost. Green plant clippings, weeds, and freshly cut flowers from your lawn can also increase the nitrogen found in your compost. Add chicken droppings. Chicken droppings are extremely rich in nitrogen, and most poultry farmers are happy to give it away if you want. Just make sure the chicken manure you're adding to the compost is aged. Add aged manure to increase the nitrogen in your compost. A ratio of one part aged manure for every five parts of carbon material will bring your compost's nitrogen level to a healthy level. Incorporate blood or bone meal into your compost. You can purchase blood or bone meals at home in gardening stores or online. Combine one to two pounds of bone or blood meal per 100 pounds of carbon material. Pour corn gluten meal into the compost. Read the instructions on the back of the corn gluten meal to know how much you should add to your compost. The second method is adding household waste to compost. Combine coffee grounds into your compost. Add one part coffee grounds to one part grass clippings and one part leaves to create a nitrogen-rich compost pile. Add fruit and vegetable scraps to your compost. Instead of throwing away vegetable and fruit scraps, add them to your compost pile after you're done with ingredient preparation. These are high in organic material and will add nitrogen to your compost pile. Be wary of adding meat, feces, eggs, or dairy products to compost. These compost ingredients may attract wild animals if not covered. Avoid adding pet feces to the compost because it could spread disease. And, the third method is creating compost. Lay twigs, straws, and dry leaves inside of a container. Lay 4-8 inches of dry leaves, twigs, and straw on the bottom of a closed container. This carbon-rich material will help aerate the bottom of the compost and help keep it moist. Lay down 4-8 inches of nitrogen-rich material. Use organic material like lawn clippings or table scraps and layer it on top of your twigs and leaves. Continue to alternate layers of carbon-rich and nitrogen-rich material. Spray the organic material with water. The compost materials should remain moist so that they break down to form compost. Keep the bin in the sun. Keeping the compost at a high heat will increase decay and shorten the time that the material turns into compost. You can also cover the container for the compost so that animals can't get into it, but this may cut off the air supply. Without heat, the compost will take anywhere from 6 to 12 months to fully break down. Turn the compost once a week. Continue to keep the compost hot and wet. Turning the compost over once a week will add oxygen to the compost, a necessary component of composting. Wait two months. Continue to turn your compost once a week and water it regularly. In two to three months the compost will ultimately break down. When the compost is ready it will be brown, crumbly, and sweet smelling. You can now use the compost to promote healthy growth in your lawn and plants. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.